Hey everybody, Jeff Miller here, head of GMAT instruction for Target Test Prep. In today's video, I'm excited to talk about top tips for getting a great GMAT focus quant score. We will provide tips on if you're a beginner, middle or end of your prep. There's a lot of cool stuff I'm gonna talk about, so I'm excited to get started. Tip number one, for those that are starting out right now, you need to understand that you need to build your foundation before moving to advanced GMAT focused quant material. Now, as you may know, there's a ton you're gonna have to learn for GMAT focused math. You've got topics ranging, ranging from linear quadratic equations to rate problems, to ratios, to combinatorics. It's a lot of stuff. But the thing is, if you try to dive into that hard stuff right off the bat, you're gonna struggle. So what do you do? You start off with the basic skills. You start off with, hey, can I add and subtract fractions? Do I know those rules? Do I know how to deal with decimals and basic percents? Do I know how to set up a basic single variable equation or a simultaneous equation? Do I know the basics of algebra, substitution, combination method, etc.? All of these base skills are important because as you move your way up into these other topics, you're gonna to have to use these. Some people look at combinations and permutations and they say, well, that's just isolated to that topic, but it's not. Did you know that there's combination questions that actually test you on your ability to factor down a quadratic equation? It's not a difficult one, but yes, sometimes you have to deal with factoring quadratics in certain combination questions. So my point is start small, start wide, start with your basics, your foundation, and then move your way up from there. Tip number two, and this is one of my favorite tips. You hear me talking about it in so many of our GMAT focused videos. Take a topic by topic approach to your studying. Well, what does that mean? Well, look, there's a ton of material out there. There's a ton of questions that you can get in, say, the official guide, and you can do them randomly. Would I advise that? I would not. I would advise becoming an expert at one topic, then moving on. Now, what does that mean, becoming an expert? Well, Let's just take linear and quadratic equations, for example. That includes linear equations, substituting in variables, adding equations together, and then on the quadratic side, things like factoring quadratics, difference of squares, foiling quadratics, et cetera, right? Now, what, how do we become masterful at those topics? Well, we learn about them, whether you're watching videos, whether you're reading, and then doing example questions right after. That's how you become an expert in something like those topics. But the reading and the simple practice is one component. Once you're done, once you've read through these concepts, you've taken notes, you've understood it, you've absorbed it, you don't then move on to the next topic in your study plan. You stick around with linear quadratics and you practice a lot. When practicing, don't worry about timing when you're first practicing, but start with easy questions. Make sure those are mastered. Move to medium questions, make sure those are mastered, and move to hard. By the time you're done with all of that learning and practice, you should feel like a quote unquote expert in that topic. Yes, you'll have to revisit it down the road and we'll talk about that shortly, but that's how you get great at GMAT Focus Math. One topic at a time, learn it, practice it, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, and you will be awesome at GMAT Focus Math.